I'm Rafael Rabalon here at JTEC in Jacksonville, Florida, and we're going to be talking about the automatic transmission. Um, we can just start over here. This is the filter. And we got a valve body with a pressure solenoid. Um, the valve body uh, fluid goes through here and it directs fluid and goes into a lot of different pressures like. Uh, line pressure, main line pressure, um, apply pressure, governor pressure, all of that. And we got the torque converter, which is one of the main components. It has the impeller, the turbine, and the stator. And it, it's a fluid coupling device that transfers power from the engine to the transmission. And it's located behind the engine and in front of the transmission. Holding applying devices, which are the clutch bands. We got the two four, we got different bands right there. And then we got the reaction carrier assembly, which is right here, internal ring gear. And then we got the reaction sun gear. And then we got the input sun gear and carrier assembly. And then we got the input shaft. And this is also in the same too. It's inside. And these two uh, Yo, what the attach together and spline together onto Why the output shaft. And um, oh, I missed this. The transmission pump. And you see this fluid that goes all throughout. And transfers fluid and creates pressure. And when it comes out of the transmission pump, it should be mainline pressure. And then we got these two are the internal pump as well. And we got the clutch band or clutch um, clutch pack. I'm sorry. And these are the friction materials or friction disc. Um, got a VSS, equal speed sensor, uh, shift selector with a, a parking actuator right here, or park lock actuator. Valve springs, which are found inside the valve body. Rust washer, which is found um, inside the transmission as well. It should be at the very bottom. Um, well, this is another planetary gear set. I think we just had an extra laying around. Um, And we got a servo which uh, applies pressure to the clutch band. And with our customer complaints, there could be a complaint such as uh, that it doesn't shift in a second. And what I could point to would be the bow body. Since this directs pressure, um, say this is the way to get to the 2-4 clutch band, and it needs pressure to go in and fluid to come out. And if this was restricted, then it could cause 2-4 band to not have any pressure and not be able to shift into second. And... Um, another one could be poor acceleration, and that could be, you could point to the torque converter, and you could do a stall test to make sure that the torque converter isn't failing, or just check the overall condition, and yeah, just do perform a stall test if they complain in such a way. And I think that'll be all. Thank you for watching.